Welcome once again. And right now we're at John chapter 14. Now, I was very excited. I was looking forward to this this chapter for quite some time now. This chapter is jam-packed, full of things. I mean, you could spend... You can, you can literally spend years just meditating on what it says here alone. It's just awesome. So right now we're looking at verses 1 through 4, when Jesus comforted his disciples. Let's read it. Jesus says here, Don't let your heart be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. In my Father's house are many homes. Now, some translations says many mansions. Some translations say many rooms. And I know that some people even translate this to, to mean that there are many mansions in heaven. But in the original Greek manuscripts, the Greek word that's used here for mansion or home or room is the Greek word mone. And that word means literally a staying an abiding, a dwelling, an abode, or to make one's abode. So for it to be translated mansions or room or home, I guess maybe home might be a little bit more uh, accurate to the original meaning. But it seems like Jesus is saying to his disciples that in his father's house or in his fa father's family, so to speak, there are many places to live, okay? That's basically what he is saying. Jesus continued by saying, If it weren't so, I would have told you. I am going to prepare a place for you. If I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you to myself, that where I am, you may be there also. You know where I go, and you know the way. So indeed, this portion of Scripture is a very comforting portion of Scripture. You know, starting out by saying, don't let your heart be troubled. Believe in God, believe also in me. And then he comforts the disciples further by saying that uh, basically that God's house has room for them. And so it's a very, a very comforting scripture. Until next time, seek God, think about the scriptures, think about what Jesus says, okay? And not, not only think about it do it, okay? As you call upon Him, as I always say, as you call upon God in spirit and in truth, He will show you great and mighty things. And may He also give you a spirit of revelation so that you would understand, so that you would see things beyond that of all your peers. Thanks again.